Guan Nishan is that guy. Not locks, not Nish. Today, we just doing a quick free form dreadlock video. If you haven't already, hop on over to Not Nation on Instagram, because this is where I post your pictures mainly and pictures of future dread reviews that I would like to cover. For instance, like this one of Styles Artistry. Free form dreads that are sick, pure fire. And I'm a fan of these dreadlocks because of a few reasons, mainly because they're free form. Secondly, because they're wild child, they're wild children, minds of their own, just kind of standing on end wherever they want to be. Now, in order to grow hair like this, you obviously just want to free form your hair, wash and go. Barely looks like he even separates his dreads here because you can see them joining together into bigger and bigger congos. Uh, this one does actually look like there's some thread wrapped around it. This could be done to combine some certain dreads. It could also just be done for aesthetic features. Now, this red backdrop is really pronunciating the definition of his hair texture. It's a really cool image. Um, this dude himself, I've never heard of him. I was just tagged in this picture and I thought, wow, these locks are rather legendary and they're just in the baby dread stage still. So once this guy actually gets some length and some droppage, these will be some pure organic freeform locks that are gonna have some mad weight, some mad length, some mad thickness. Looking over at this guy's Instagram, I would say that his locks have been growing for roughly two years or so. You can see that he's even got some jewelry on some of these dreads. The front dread is actually really thickening up and his dreads are pretty much mature at the stage that he's at. He can wash and go, no problem. He doesn't have to worry about any of his dreads coming out in the shower or when he's washing. And um, surprisingly enough, he's got quite the blunted tips. Now, I mean, with his hair texture being type 4, this is going to happen naturally for him. It looks really cool. Like, of course, they're not going to always and forever be standing up like this. Here he's actually wearing a black, kind of like a headband, bandana, that's pushing his dreads back a little bit. Very unique set of freeform dreads here. Trippy picture with the mask on. Roots, definitely. Seems that he's always tying his hair back with a scarf or something. It's a pretty unique look. And in this picture, opposed to some of his more recent ones, his dreads have really tightened up and aren't as puffy. Uh, and also you notice that the blunted tips aren't as evident from a few months ago, so things have been really coming along. Dreadlocks just being wild, almost like a dread fro that has napped up quite well. Really, really sick locks from Styles here. And of course, a little bit of a close up on his dreads. You can see here how they're kind of fishtailing together. Big clumps happening over here kind of like the weekend effect and obviously dude is a painter really a nice artwork and in this photo here from almost a year ago you can see his dreads in the very beginning stages of his fro so he's definitely in his second year of growing his dreads moving on to his third and even his beard has a little bit more length now than it does from a year ago so keep it up styles artistry Appreciate your artwork, appreciate the dreadlocks, and of course, have a happy and nappy day here at the Knot Nation. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, one love, and represent your locks. Peace. The